reasons, or one of the big things they have to do every week is make sure that they have a routine. And for Tucker, part of that routine is their pregame meal. It's a busy Friday inside Matthew's Cafeteria in Tucker. I want you to bread a little bit more chicken. And Michael Matthews Green is getting ready for one of the biggest meals his family's restaurant will serve all week. Every Friday night for the number one ranked team in the state, Tucker Tigers. 150 players, coaches, and cheerleaders walk a few blocks from Tucker High School here to the restaurant located on Main Street since 1955. I don't know many places that still have the high school at the end of Main Street and all the players and cheerleaders come eat pregame meal. It's really impressive. Matthews has an extensive menu, but for the Tigers, there's only one meal that'll do. Sports people are superstitious, me included. If they lose, which they haven't done this year, then we'll go to something else. They'll change the menu. But as long as they win, they get fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Wow. Yeah. And down in the kitchen, Green says it takes a lot of ingredients to cook up a winning pregame meal. I'd say for 150 people, maybe 40 pounds of boiled potatoes, peeled potatoes. You got some right, right there. Here. Yeah. Uh, the same amount of green beans, I would say, maybe 40 pounds or so. And uh, 150 rolls. So, that's a lot, a lot of food. food. But for this Tucker football alum, it's just another way he and Matthew's Cafeteria give back to the community that walks through these doors each day. It kind of keeps you young in a way, you know. It kind of keeps, I feel like I'm, like I could still play tomorrow if I had to suit up, you know. Although Michael did tell me he doesn't think he would make the Tucker team of today, they have been absolutely phenomenal in recent years, winning state titles in 2008 and 2011. They say a big part of that was that special pregame meal. Mark?